Worker bees have different jobs according to their age. One to two days old have the job to clean the cells and they start with the one they're born in. They also keep the brood warm. That confirms it. Bees support child labor. Three to five days old, their job is to feed older larva. Then six to 11 days, they have the responsibility to feed the youngest larva, aka be the oldest sibling in a family where the parents didn't really learn about birth control. 12 to 17 days old, they are producing wax, carrying food, building combs, and have undertaker duties. Imagine being an undertaker as your work experience in your teens. Emotionally scarring. In their college days, they are protecting the hive entrance and have guard duty. Conscription is alive and well in the beehive. But finally, as they grow into young adulthood to the rest of their life, around 40 to 45 days, they fly from the hive and collect pollen, nectar and water, etc. What a sad life bees live. Jumping from profession to profession, day in, day out, no life to live at all. I'm glad we don't live like that. <laughs> <laughs> this was up at a burger joint in town. A nice interesting display to show you what it means when you ask for medium rare. What a clever way to let me know how my future poo will look like. Different shades of light. You know, this is something I never really noticed until I actually got a light that could change through these different settings. Never realized how much I appreciated warm white until now. It's amazing how light can change the energy of your room from intimate and cozy to hospital. United States elevation map. Damn, you couldn't have chosen any other colors to make it not look like mold? Wait, what if mountains, especially volcanoes, what if they're just really crusty pimples of the earth? Dear God, it explains so much why girlfriends love hiking up them. And now for animals with misleading names. Electric eel, not an eel. Mountain goat, not a goat. Maned wolf, not a wolf. King cobra, not a cobra. Also, snakes are typically self-governing. Peacock mantis shrimp. Not a peacock, not a mantis. Also, not a shrimp. Horny toad. Not a toad. Also, only thinks of you as a friend. Mayfly. Active through the spring and summer, and definitely flies. Eastern kingbird. Found in the west. Many birds do not recognize its authority. From the New England Aquarium. A language lesson from your friendly neighborhood aquarium. This is a fish. A lot of them is a fish. A lot of different ones is fishes. Ah, finally, the English making the sense. So, fun fact, also not too surprising, Amazon is at war with everyone. And to be honest, there's a lot of them here that I didn't realize were actually competing with these companies. I didn't realize Scribd was like on level with competing with Audible. It was a good service. They had a lot of PDFs that legally shouldn't be on there, but don't tell anyone. I made a guide explaining how different types of Halloween candy got their names. Cool. There, um, this, I'm just going to highlight my favorites. We'll just leave it on the screen and you can pause it and look at the ones you're genuinely interested in. <laughs> Invented by Michelle or Mikkel, whoever, <laughs> who named the chocolate after the <laughs> the site of a sighting of the Virgin Mary. Kit Kat. Although unconfirmed, the name is wildly thought to refer to the Kit Kat Club, a popular 1920s jazz venue in the West End of London. Slim Shadies. Originally a joint venture between businessman Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray, who was the son of the president of the Hershey's Company. That's right, M&Ms are the result of nepotism. Skittles, a word traditionally associated with casual leisurely activities, historically has referred to a type of nine-pin game and recreational chess. How do you make chess recreational? Do you like throw the pieces you knock out at the other person? Knight takes rook. Ow. Hey, you know that devil of a company that steals water from third world countries and tries to charge it back to them at a ridiculous upmarket price? Well, just in case you think you're boycotting them, you're most likely not. Just an easy guide for those of you planning to pack on a long trip of earth pimple popping. Essentially, have all the heavy stuff as close to your center of mass as possible and get that sleeping bag right to the bottom as a cushy little bottom base. Give that bag a juicy booty, you know? Do you want your cake to taste like it came from a bakery? Follow these steps. One. Read the directions on the cake mix. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I feel that one's pretty obvious. Hey, do you want to be good at drawing art? Step one, do it right. <laughs> Two, add one more egg, or two for an even richer cake. Three, replace the oil with melted butter and double the amount. 
4. Replace the water with an equal amount of milk. And 5. Mix and bake according to package directions. Then congrats, you've baked a cake that ended up costing just as much as if you just bought it from the bakery in the first place. Epicurean paradox. Oh jeez, okay here we go. Strap in, evil exists. Yes. Can God prevent evil? And no. Then God is not all powerful. Uh, I mean, yes. Does God know about all the evil? Well, no. Then God is not all knowing. No, I mean, yes. Does God want to prevent evil? No. Then God is not good, God is not loving. I said yes. Then why is there evil? To test us. Well, if God is all knowing, he would know what we would do if we were tested. Therefore, no need to test us. Uh, that's, that's because of Satan. It's his fault. An all powerful, all knowing, all good God could and would destroy Satan. Well, it is necessary for the universe to exist, or another reason. Well, could God have created a universe without these? No. Then God is not all powerful. I mean, yes. Then why didn't he? To test us. Uh, God is all knowing. Yeah, it's free will. Could God have created a universe with free will but without evil? Uh, no. Then God is not all. Yes, I mean, yes. Then why did it? Oh my God. Copper through the patina process, unexposed. But just like your high school years, the first half you're feeling really disgusting. You look disgusting, kind of gross. But in the latter half, you flourish into looking just a little bit less gross. I mean, you still are. Look at that shade of green you decided to be. What? Why? Why would you choose that color on you? It's disgusting. Things have changed since you went to college. Just a casual comparison from 1980 to 2016. So these figures are literally seven years old already. New York University. Annually was just five grand. In just under 40 years, it's almost 10 times that. Minimum wage back then was only $3.10 compared to $7.25 today. Required hours to pay that tuition was $1,600 back in the day. Now it's $6,700. What would take you 40 weeks to pay it off now takes $169. Nice. What tuition would need to be to work the same number of hours at today's minimum wage? $11,000. You're paying more than four times more than you actually should. What minimum wage would need to be to work the same number of hours for today's tuition? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, America. How to survive a plunge from a waterfall. Step one, take a deep breath right before you go over the edge. Step two, position yourself so you go down feet first. Step three, wrap your arms over your head and press your nose into your elbow to help seal it from water. Step four, do the latest TikTok dance trend. Otherwise, tense your muscles and press your legs and feet together. Five, tightly close your eyes and mouth. Six, swim away from the falls immediately, even before breaking the surface. We hope you appreciate this life lesson. It took a lot of trial and tribulation figuring out these steps. We lost a lot of men. Hi, I'm your local opossum. I'm nature's pest control and cleanup crew. I'm naturally immune to rabies. Just one of me eats up to 5,000 ticks per year. I can't catch or carry Lyme disease. I also eat insects, spiders, small rodents, and dead stuff. If you see me, kindly ignore me. I mean you no harm. I don't know. That's what they always say before they pull out a knife. A restaurant guide for how you want your steak cooked. This one's a bit more fancy because they don't have pictures showing what your poo will look like in the future. Real proportions of all land masses revealing actual areas of countries, territories, and major islands without any distortion. By Art. Lebedev. Wow. What's your mum doing at the top there? Okay, look, I'm going to be biased. I don't care. But Australia? Damn if that country don't look aesthetic. Not these other countries that look like weird scraggly drawings by a child attempting to draw a circle freehand. Australia the best, number one. Don't ask us about our detention centers. How gerrymandering works, AKA how to steal an election. Yes, apparently this is legal. 50 precincts might vote 60% blue, 40% red. Split them up evenly like this. Oh, blue wins. Oh no, sorry, red wins. Thing is, you do want to understand that not every town and city or province is exactly a square shape. But either way, it's still far too easy to manipulate. Hidden rules among classes. Money. In poverty to be spent. In middle to be managed. In wealthy to be invested. Personality. Poverty, it's sense of humor. Oh, don't, don't attack me like that. In middle its achievement. And in wealthy, your personality is your connections. It's basically, if you have rich friends, they don't care about you, just what you can do for them. Social emphasis. Povos are inclusion, middle class are self-sufficiency, and the wealthy emphasize exclusion. Not surprising there either. <laughs> Food. Quantity, then quality, then presentation. Which is something a Nutella and tomato sauce sandwich absolutely exceeds in all three of. When you're poor, time is in the moment. When you're middle, it's against the future. And when you're wealthy, it's in tradition. I don't get 
get that. The rule of education is abstract, then purely for success and money, then purely for maintaining connections. Yeah, look, hopefully you get the idea of this. Just pause the video if you're curious about the others. Moving on! Which waters to avoid by region? Regional names for Nestle water in the USA. Nice. A snappy guide for living with dementia. 1. Agree. Never argue. 2. Divert. Never reason. 3. Distract. Never shame. 4. Reassure. Never lecture. 5. Reminisce. Never say, remember. 6. Repeat. Never say, I told you. 7. Do what they can do. Never say, you can't. 8. Ask. Never demand. 9. Encourage. Never condescend. And 10. Reinforce. Never force. It really freaks them out when you can push people away with your mind. Useful in times like this. A guide to remind you on how much unconfident you should be in your opinions and opinions of others. You know, this might be ironically confident of me to say this, but this effect has been debunked. Some mathematicians proved that you can easily recreate this using some computer mathematician algorithm, some random stuff. It's Essentially, it proved that this can be recreated with numbers and not at all with human, like, psychological influence. I am really abridging that, so just take it with a grain of salt. While yes, it did prove that humans do think they are better than average, that's all it proved. Your confidence in an area doesn't make you more likely to be stupid in it. It's just evidential that those with more expertise in an area, such as your butt, are less likely to make a wild guess on the topic, such as, oh, it doesn't smell. Units of measurement. Wow! Look how easier it is compared to America. If someone could be a deer and use their knowledge to explain why America has it all set up like this, not because we actually think it's valid, do we just want to laugh at the stupid absurdity? What information are you driving around? Let me introduce you to our children, and because they're involved in extracurricular activities, we'll be gone most evenings and or weekends for practices or games. Ooh, big motorbike, we like expensive toys that you can probably find in our garage. Cute little doggo, oh, we have a small breed dog that answers to the name Max. You won't be a problem for you when you break in. Baby on board! As if these stickers ever made anyone drive carefully around you. We'll have our hands full and be distracted when we get where we're going, making us an easy target. Long story short, having stickers on your car makes everyone around you a Sherlock Holmes enthusiast. Looney Tunes Guide to Dictate All Interactions Between Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner, developed by Chuck Jones and his team. Wow. It's like the New Testament, but for a cartoon. Rule one. The Roadrunner cannot harm the coyote except by going beep, beep. Rule two, no outside force can harm the coyote. Only his own ineptitude or the failure of the Acme products. Rule number three, the coyote could stop any time if he were not a fanatic. Repeat, a fanatic is one who redoubles his effort when he has forgotten his aim. George Santayana. Rule number four, no dialogue ever except beep, beep. Rule number five, the Roadrunner must stay on the road. Otherwise, logically, he would not be called Roadrunner. Rule number six, all action must be confined finds to the natural environment of the two characters, the Southwest American Desert. Rule number seven, all materials, tools, weapons, or mechanical conveniences must be obtained from the Acme Corporation. Rule number eight, when possible, make gravity the coyote's greatest enemy. Rule number nine, the coyote is always more humiliated than harmed by his failures. Look, it is absurd to read a Bible for a cartoon show, but not as crazy as the Pepsi universe. Things to say during the Super Bowl to make it seem like you understand football. Phrase, they gotta establish their running game. When to say it when your team has the ball. Roger Goodall is ruining the league. Say this anytime. Come on, ref, let him play. During yellow flag. There's a lot of game left. Say this anytime. You had one job. Say this when other people seem upset. Ring, ring. Hello, John. It's been a while. Hello. I just need someone like you to talk to. Okay. My boyfriend broke up with me and I've been so upset. You are? I was thinking about about what you confessed to me the other day, and I- There, there, Samantha, you had one job. Protesting safely. What to wear. Nondescript colored layered clothing cover identifying tattoos. Goggles and mask. Emergency contacts written down. Tie your hair up. Wear heat-resistant gloves. What to bring. Snacks. Water for drinking and tear gas. Cash and change and ID. Washcloth. Earplugs. Protest signs. Band-aids and first aid supplies. What not to bring. Cell phone without first turning off face or touch ID going on airplane mode and disabling data. Don't bring jewelry, anything you don't want to be arrested with, or contact lenses. I like how 90% of what to wear is usually what a lot of people wear when it's very cold outside. Oh, what are you doing up here in the mountains? There's no protest happening here. Want to say to kids, instead of be careful, help your child foster awareness by saying, notice how, do you see, try moving, try 
by using your. Can you hear? Do you feel? Are you feeling? Also help your child problem solve by saying, what's your plan? What can you use? Where will you? How will you? Or who will blah blah blah? It's amazing how much you can easily improve the cognitive abilities of a child just by applying this sort of questioning to them instead of just STOP THAT! BE CAREFUL! YOU'RE DOING IT WRONG! The amount of snow it takes to cancel school. Ah, oh, look how triggered the South is. They see a bunch of white fluff on the ground and they shriek in fear. Considering their Northern Hemisphere, I'm sure it actually genuinely is a big deal, but I'm still gonna mock them for it. Different ocean slash sea stuff explained. Explained with what? Dog diarrhea? I, <laughs> what's with the consistency? That is so cool how it's laid out like puzzle pieces though. I wanna visit an isthmus and then push my sister off to one of the sides. I learned how to whistle from this in less than five minutes. All right, challenge accepted. Give me five minutes, folks. We're going to see if I can do this. We got figure one here. Figure two is the POV of every girl being kissed by the guy they don't like. Figure three is that woman jabbing her fingers into his mouth and hoping he'll like gag and recoil. And figure four is the woman screaming a melodic tune in fear, noticing that the man's bitten down on her fingers. <sighs> okay, it's been five minutes. Let's uh, see how I went. Here we go. What's going on? No, shut up. No, even no, 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 stop talking. How to prevent an anxiety attack. According to your parents, just be happy. <laughs> Breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. <sighs> oh. Nailed it. Slowly look around you and find five things you can see. Water bottle, laptop, phone, skin colored human sized Teletubby, microphone. Four things you can touch. My wall, the floor, the door, the door handle, which for some reason the lock won't undo and I, I'm stuck, I, I can't get, I can't get out. Three things you can hear. The thumping on my hands, banging against the door, the scream from my vocal cords, the sporadic loosening of my bowels. Two things you can smell, or two smells you like. It's, it, 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 it's breath, it's, it's breath, it's breath, it's, br it's breath, it's breath, it's breath. One emotion you feel. <laughs> Take winky feels <laughs> This is called grounding. It can help when you feel like you've gone too far in your head and lost all control of your surroundings. When me and the girls go clubbing, we have a hand sign system. Thumbs up, I like this person, I'm okay. Radical, unsure, don't leave me alone. Crossed fingers, be subtle, but get me away from this person. Devil horns, get me away from this person ASAP. And on the weird chance that they're an MK narrator, call security. Get me out of here! Works for us in loud bars. Mattress dimensions and bed sizes. Man, I was already bewildered by the existence of a California king. There's two others after that? Healthy habits, daily countdown, 9,000 steps, 8 hours of sleep, 7 glasses of water, 6 minutes of meditation. I thought it said medication. <laughs> How many pills can you? 5 servings of fruit and veggies, 4 breaks stretching and mental, 3 meals and 3 healthy snacks, 2 hours of no phone before bed, and 1 session of exercise. I'm certainly not on my phone before bed, I'm on my laptop. That's totally different. A healthy snack. Mmm, palm oil, skim milk powder, cocoa, hail nuts and sugar. Almost 50% sugar. Daily reminder, there's no such thing as unhealthy food, just how much of it you have. What to do when your car is stranded in the snow? 1. Put on all the clothes you have available in order to trap and conserve body heat. Unless you look like me, then you're hot enough already. <laughs> 2. Turn the car's heater on intermittently for about 10 minutes once an hour to gain warmth while preserving fuel. 3. Make the car more visible by clearing snow from the hood and tying something colorful to the antenna. 4. Pile the snow around the car to help insulate it. Obviously leave one door clear so you can still get out. <laughs> you imagine piling it all up and realizing you can't get in? <laughs> 5. Periodically move around inside the car to keep blood flowing and stay warm. 6. Build a signal fire on top of your spare tire with paper and wood until the fire itself ignites to make a thick column of black smoke. Because when the environment's trying to kill you, you kill it back. How to email like a boss. In other words, professional passive aggression. I took a while, but you can deal with it. Don't say sorry. Say thanks for your patience. My schedule matters too. Uh, what works best for you? No, 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 no. Don't give them power. Give them ultimatum. Could you do this time? Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry. Always happy to help. Add an extra exclamation point to make it really passive. I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> It'd be best if we... Wording this is hard. Rewriting email for 40 minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, look, it's me recording MK sometimes. Uh, it'd be easier to discuss in person. Ah, there's my solution. I'll just go to each and every one of your houses and just scream at you for 20 minutes. Do you get it? Uh, let me know if you have questions. Where the heck are we on this? Uh, when can I expect an update? I made a small error. Oh, three, my bad. Totally missed that. No, no, no. Nice catch. Updated file attached. Thanks for letting me know. I swear, it's essentially it's social manipulation 101. You're tricking people into making them feel like they're better than they are to you. How paint can change a room. Oh, wow. What? Oh, wow. That blows my mind, actually. That's really cool. What I'm now curious about is what if you made the ground floor darker? What would happen then? Am I dividing by zero in the interior design world? States with smaller population than Los Angeles County. Oh, wow. I know many people say California can pretty much be its own country, but I, wow, I didn't realize it was that insane. How much musicians make from streams? <laughs> YouTube. Nice. Equality. The assumption is that everyone benefits from the same supports. This is equal treatment. Equity. Everyone gets the support they need. This is the concept of affirmative action, thus producing equity. Justice. All three can see the game without supports or accommodation because the cause of the inequity was addressed. The systemic barrier has been removed. Ah, now to be fair, that uh, fence uh, wiring is obstructing the view for the child, so therefore you failed. Yep. How dare you try and make things better? How to survive a bear attack? If it's brown, lie down. If it's black, fight back. Hello, police. Whoa. They're harassing hey, me. Hey, come on. They're harassing me. I'm getting me. out of here. A bog or mire is a wetland that is acidic. A fen is a wetland that is alkaline. A swamp is a wetland whose dominant vegetation is trees and woody plants. A marsh is a wetland with other forms of vegetation dominant. This has been another daily dose of information you'll forget by the end of this video. Video. The sisters, the, the, the crusty monks invented a numbering system in the 13th century, which meant that any number from 1 to 9,999 could be written using a single symbol. Wow. What a time to live in where the conception of 10,000 wouldn't be, it's like too large or an obscene of a number to even consider putting on record. Tally marks from around the world? Wait, there's different versions? Why? Just stick to our one. It's fine. What the hell is Asia doing? <laughs> you try to play hangman. People wrongly believe that a 40% marginal tax means you will pay a total of 40K in tax based on an example of earning 100K. But this is the reality. You actually pay 0% in tax on the first 12.5K you earn. Then you pay 20% in tax on the next 37.5K that you earn. Finally, you pay 40% in tax on the last 50K you earn. So then you add those percentages based on those little brackets. And in total, you pay 27 7.5k in tax. A wonderfully lower amount to the 40k most people seem to assume. Time for another fact you'll forget about how to tell a bald eagle's age. Half year? One and a half years? Two and a half years? Three and a half years? Four and a half years? And what I argue we should call adulthood from now on? Definitive plumage. Oh wait, a list of geography terms. Let's slightly zoom into this image and scan through the environment. Yay! I can't be bothered reading all of these, but hopefully you can see them visually if you're actually watching this video and not just folding laundry in the other room while this is playing out loud. Hey, get back to this video! It's, uh, don't walk away! Oh, but look, there's an isthmus. I can push my sister off there. Map of the US states that pay more tax than what they receive from the government. Courtesy of CGP Grey. Oh, look at that. It's all the states that seem to argue they should be independent. I think you can all vote that Florida should get that. 17 Equations That Changed the World by Ian Stewart. Thanks for that, Ian Stewart. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be the least viewed part of this video, so we'll just move on. The Joker! His various displays throughout media. Man, I never knew that The Dark Knight Returns and The Killing Joke was all before the 90s. I thought they were like late 90s, early 2000s at least. It's nice to know that in 2018, even The Joker had a weeboo phase. And as typical when becoming a weeboo, just a year later he becomes the incel we all love. Biodiversity in the garden. If you want diversity, have a diverse garden! That's <laughs> kind of the obvious point. See, the biggest problem here is that I am all for diversity in my garden with bugs and things, but also I can't be bothered with maintenance, so I'm gonna go for the lower option. <laughs> I know, I'm one of those people, but I, I can't be bothered mowing the lawn. This library hung a Dewey Decimal Reference sign for everything you want to know but don't really want to ask. Tough topics for everything you want to know but don't really want to ask. 
Damn, that's really informative. As librarians, we're not here to judge, we're here to help. Raven, travel in pairs. Habitat is wild, 30 year lifespan. Gronk, gronk, wedge shaped tail, bigger and curved bill, extremely intelligent. The crow, travels in groups. Habitat is urban, eight year lifespan. Caw, caw, fan shaped tail, smaller and flat bill, extremely intelligent. Damn, the crow's got basically the same stats, but less lifespan. That's, that sucks. God, that's unfair, man. Come on. Types of Asian architecture. China, Taiwan, Thailand, Philippines, Japan, Korea. Wow, these six countries all with their diverse history. Or if the CCP is watching. Wow, these five countries and their diverse history.